Hey. Hey. Hey, everybody. We are at the work rehabilitation center at Woodrow Wilson, WWRC, in Fishersville, Virginia. And we're in the, uh, the Carter Ashley dormitory. And we're standing in the hallway. And over there is the elevator. Well, I filmed that in the past, but you can look up a previous video of that. Now, let's go inside. And there's a mop bucket in there. The door closes by itself, and the lock, the, the deadbolt does not work. The door does not even lock. So we got a mop bucket, and we go further in, we got a hallway in between this. And this door closes automatically, automatically too. I'm sorry that you've been hearing a lot of cussing in the background, I do apologize for that. I did not mean to make you guys hear that, and it's almost curfew, and... Excuse me, excuse my voice, I have allergies, and here are the rooms, right here, all four rooms, and that one right there is mine, and first, before we look at the rest of the place, we're going to look inside my locker right here, and we're going to open it by using my key if it wants to work. There we go. There's my suitcase. And sometimes this lock doesn't work and sometimes it does. Now let's, let's, let's lock it back up. There we go. That's where people put their big suitcases. And back here, we have an air conditioner up here. And a fire alarm right there, true alert. And we have the shower right here, and it's also a severe weather shelter. In case you have a tornado or a hurricane or whatever or whatnot, let's check out the shower. And you got the light and this one right here this timer light switch controls the uh, halogen heat lamp right here and it does get very warm underneath these halogen uh, lamps right here these halogen incandescent mix light bulbs the towel rack is missing for some reason Someone took the bar out. There's the timer light switch controlled by a timer. You can crank it up to an hour, that's how high you can put it. And right here is the actual shower stall with a non-arched shower curtain right here. Just a typical shower curtain. Let's test out the shower. Here we go. And there, it looks really nice. It has good pressure, and it's got a uh, soap dish mounted on the wall. Man, it does get really warm underneath here if you're a little bit cold getting out of the warm water. And this lock locks the shower door when you're taking a shower. Vacant means no one is using it right now. That means another person can use it it's because the vacant is in green, but when you switch it to occupied, it's red. That means one person is in the shower. That means you got to wait your turn until the occupied switch to vacant. So vacant's green, occupied's red. Let's shut this off.
and it's got the exhaust fan built into it too, so it can exhaust all the odor out, the fumes odor, and that will turn off by itself because it's controlled by a timer. And now we're going to take a look at my room. We are in room 122. This is my dorm room right here. And we're going to unlock it by using my key. Okay. Sorry. It wants to. There we go. And had it all the way in. All right. Doors open. Now, as you enter the room, it looks very spacious, and this room is bigger than the Barnett's dormitory's room. I'm, I have not been in the Barnett dormitory before, but I've seen the Barnett room on a YouTube video before, but that was on another YouTube user's channel. I keep forgetting his name, but the doorbell does not work. It's... And the dorm staff said most of them don't work. It's an actual chime that plugs into the wall. That one's got a strobe on it. All right, let's close the door. And this room is very, very spacious. It's a really nice room. And right here we have some cabinet space with all my nice dress clothes right here. And we got some cabinet space up here to put some extra stuff. And in here we have more space. Get my keys. There we go. Oops. Right here we have my we have my uh, shower flip-flops. Here's my extra backpack. Here's an extra towel. We got my toothbrush, my razor, and my deodorant in that bag right there, along with a comb as well. I don't know if you heard that, but that was a train outside. I have the window open. got some drawer space with all my clothes and stuff. Here's my pants. All four drawers have all my stuff in them. My clothes and stuff. There's my shirts. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, there's my bed. I've been watching a movie on that. There's, there's the Philips portable DVD player that I brought along. And there's my coffee maker and the rest of my stuff. I need to clean it up a little bit. And thank thank you so much to the dorm staff. Yeah, I had a broken desk lamp and someone took the tube out, but um they gave me a new desk lamp and now I have a new one. Check it out. Let's give it a, let's turn it on, shall we? And it's a preheat fluorescent light. It's actually very neat. Let's give it one more turn on. Give it a couple of seconds, and then we'll turn it on. You guys ready? Awesome. We'll just leave that on for now. It, it, I do apologize for my, because I got allergies. And we got my fridge, small fridge, and we got some shelves right by the windows, and I have the window open because it does get hot in here because you can't really control your own temperature by using that thermostat, which kind of sucks. And we have the air conditioner right there and along with the heater, and we got cabinet space down here as well for more stuff. 
And we got drawers on this desk. And we got another drawer. And we have a, uh, a keyboard table right here that slides out. If you want, or if you want to have a desktop computer, you can have your keyboard on there instead of on there. To, and I think they use the space very well in here, so I can't complain too much about it. And right here we have the sink. You can tell it's a very nice sink and it's got a and it's got a big mirror. Here's the sink. Very cool. Okay, paper towel dispenser. Soap dispenser. And there's me in the mirror. Hey now. I do sound kind of weird, guys. I I I have really bad allergies and I do apologize. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. That door goes into another dorm room, but I don't want to go in there. Trash can. Toilet paper dispenser. Attention, throw toilet paper only in toilet. Please do not throw paper towels or anything else. The drain line will become clogged. Thank you. All right. Here's the toilet, and it's a toto. Let's give it a flush. Well, and there's more space underneath the, the sink counter. Alright. Well, I think this is this is kinda like similar fashion, kind of like like hotel tours and stuff, but um this this doesn't really count as a hotel tour. It's it's more of a, a dormitory uh room tour pretty much and a previous person has filmed their dorm room before, but um, you can you can actually um, I think you can actually do that if you really want to, if you're interested, like doing that. Um, just don't show your personal information anywhere at all in this dormitory. Just don't show any personal information. Don't try breaking the rules or anything like that. I think it's. I think it's a really nice dormitory. It's it looks pretty spacious. It's 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 quite nice. I guess I can't complain too much about it. And again, I do have allergies, guys. And there's my bottle of shampoo right there. All right. Thank Thanks everybody for watching this video and I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Thank you.